Hi quilters, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would talk a little bit about different textures and shapes and colors and just the different ways that quilts are quilted and or the different elements that are involved in quilting. Quilting is lots of different shapes, different shapes of the pieces. It's triangles, it's rectangles, it's small squares, it's large squares. It's circles. It's just a very different gradation of shapes. There are big squares with quilting in them called feathers. There are small squares of pieces with X's drawn through them with the quilting marks. My friends say I paint with thread. And once a quilt top is put together, then you get to layer it with batting and backing and start the really creative process of the quilting. The different pieces and parts um, here that you see are all uh, either gifts to me or pieces that I have made, but you can see what one square and one triangle or one rectangle and one color of blue will create. I think that's why I like quilting so much is the different Civil War reproduction fabrics and all the raw materials that you get to pick and choose from. But when it comes right down to it, my name is Shanda and I am a quilt maker. This week we got to work with a lot of different shapes and colors. Um, this Ocean Waves, I stayed pretty much true to the block and I picked five different shades of pinks, uh, different saturations in these Civil War reproduction fabrics, different gradations of the pink that just turned out just so beautiful. But when you put triangles and you make them into squares, the geometrical contrasting effect you get to me was a lesson in color and in shape i'm really happy with the way this block turned out different pinks although i picked the same background fabric for this one i really really like the way this quilt block turned out uh, number 26 i believe was called thorns and i changed up the colors in this one just a little bit went with a little bit um lighter background but the dark black triangles went so well with this red um, pinkish color. Love the way this one turned out too. The next block, 27, was shades of blue called Buckle, and I really switched this one out. I went with some blacks and cheddars to make it more, um, to me, a little bit more fallish. Maybe more like a, I don't know, maybe like a pilgrim's buckle on his hat. Um, you'll see here in a minute, right here that it looks more um, like a pilgrim's buckle, belt buckle or a hat buckle. And then the last block was called Butterfly. And this is a really good example of some saturation. I love this pink in the lower right hand color um, combination. Um, when you put a rectangle with a square, it makes, um, and you use the switch flip and switch flip and stitch method sorry it made the wings of the butterfly uh, i loved this block for the simplicity and for the contrast but i just love that pink variation right there that gradation the saturation of that fabric and that red with the black dot um, was just absolutely beautiful i'm really enjoying this process i'm having a great time and with all of these blocks and you can see we're getting quite a stack and again my name is Shanda and I am a quilt maker <music> 